Hi there, and welcome to the Creatives Get Real podcast. I'm Robin Marie Smith. And I'm Sandy Keen, and these are real conversations about the creative life. Hey, Robin. Hey, Sandy. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. We have an interesting topic for everyone today. It's so timely because this is actually happening in your life. Yes, actually, um, the last several days, I woke up uh, the other day in the morning to a black com- computer screen with a the do not enter symbol, and on a Mac, mm-hmm. it's a prohibitory symbol. Had never seen it before. I've owned I don't know how many Mac computers and never seen it. Didn't get any warning that anything was wrong with my computer, and just there it was. So of course. I got online on my phone and tried to figure out, okay, here's what this means. Basically, it was saying, we can't find your hard drive, so we can't boot your computer up. So I was on, literally, I kid you not, I got home from church, had lunch about 1.30. I got on chat, tech support. I was with two different people. Then I was on a different chat with two more people, and then I finally got on a phone call, and that was from 1.30 until almost 9 o'clock at night. Yes. Because I called you, I called you and I was like, Sandy, I need some help because Sandy and I have the same computer and I, long story short, they were just, they were telling me one thing and I was like, no, my computer has a bigger hard drive than you're telling me it has. So it was, I was very calm though and very collected. Amazingly calm. I was like, it's going to be okay, you know? And so um, anyway, I ultimately had to make an appointment to go to Apple and that's what I did pretty much better part of yesterday because it takes, you know, an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes to get there. Right. And the president happened to be in town in Orlando yesterday at the same time I was coming in. So I was like, oh, great traffic. But anyway, the guy was super helpful. Ultimately, what happened is that my hard drive just pretty much gave up. It just died. I mean, it happens, guys. Things do not last forever. And um, so I had to have, I am having the hard drive replaced. I don't have my computer and won't have it probably for about a week and a half. But, you know, you have to have some contingency plans in place. And so we thought this was a great topic and timely to talk about, are you backing up? Are you taking care of your videos and your photography especially? I mean, Mm -hmm. we're creatives. And if you're doing those things, which more than likely our audience is, you've got to have a plan in place. And so we're just going to share a few tips here. And um, yes, it can happen to you (laughs) is all I'm saying, right? (laughs) Right. I haven't had my hard drive fail, but I've had my um, external hard drive fail. Mm -hmm. And I've had, um, I'm not sure exactly what happened to my computer years ago, but I lost every single photo, including all the candidates from my daughter's wedding. Oh, no. So like you, it's not like you can replace those. It's like, you know, when someone has a baby and you have those first pictures, they're irreplaceable. So yes, this is an Mm -hmm. important topic. Yeah, it's Mm -hmm. not it's not super, you know, fun, creative and artsy like our most topics are. But these are conversations that Sandy and I have like, this is what we're about here is to share with you our experiences and our thoughts about things. And um, you just need to have some plans in place. So that right. you can take care. And I know that there's different rules of thumb out there to, you know, you need to have, you know, two backups and one needs to be off site. But seriously, guys, this is really important. Now, fortunately, um, I do have an external hard drive that's connected to my desktop. And through a, an automated backup, it, it backs up it for me every day. Now, unfortunately, unbeknownst to me, because I hadn't checked it in a while, the drive was getting too full and it hadn't backed up since November. So that's not good. But I got to thinking about this after we talked, you and I, Sandy, the other day, is that some of that content is in the cloud because I have that as well as my hard drive. So there's, there's a couple, you know, backups there. So I'll be okay. And I'm sure there'll be some things that will get lost because that's just Mm -hmm. what happens. But having that external drive is like, it's a lifesaver, that backup, because it, it's allows me now to go in there and retrieve the information that, you know, is, I mean, obviously I have no hard drive now it's gone. There is no even trying to fix that and bring it back in. So, um, they're very, very inexpensive. I mean, you can get, um, a hard drive for your computer. Um, depending on what you have. I mean, I think maybe I paid a few hundred dollars if that for it for peace of mind. I recommend that you find out what your hard drive size is. So it's either, you know, is it a terabyte? Is it two gigabyte or 200 gigabytes? You know, what is it? 
and then get your backup drive, your external hard drive, larger than what you are ha that you have on your computer, just so right. that you you know. And if you use a Mac, Mac has a built-in backup system called Time Machine, mm -hmm. and so you can just have that working kind of in the background. So, um, and you said you had you you use a backup drive as well on your computer. You mentioned right. that you had an external, yeah. And I've had an external drive go bad as well. So um, yes, it can happen. Yeah. So, you know, we can take this in different layers. Um, you yep. can look at the creative. If mm -hmm. you are a creative, you know, you have photos, your family photos, which are more important than anything else in the world. Right. Um, so you got family photos and then you have your artwork, either photos of, or perhaps you've, you've gotten mm -hmm. to a point where you've started to scan Dan, some right. of your artwork so you can use it in, in other things. Mm -hmm. So you want to protect those. Mm -hmm. Then if you're, if you are an artist and let's say you're doing online classes, mm -hmm. now you have to start thinking about where are those videos, right? Where are they stored? Where are they housed? How many different places can you have it in? Mm -hmm. And, it, and you're correct on that because as let's use a class or a course as an example, not only do you have the videos, you have your, first you have your raw clips, mm -hmm. you have your finished and completed videos that you've mm -hmm. now uploaded or shared to the classroom. And then you also have your photos because you, you need photography to promote your course or to include in your lessons or your PDFs. Right. So what I like to do, and I've been doing this for years, which has been super helpful because if I had a class that I did two years ago or three years ago, I probably don't need to have all that content on my hard drive anymore. It can be, you know, obviously it's backed up, but I buy smaller external drives, little ones that I just, they're portable. They're small portable external hard drives. And then I group everything on my main computer by the topic of the class. So everything, videos, clips, everything is in one like folder. Yep. And then I can save all of that to one of these portable small external drives so that I know if I ever need to access that information later, I can get that drive and then I can just plug it in and there it is. And then I can remove it from my hard drive on my main computer, my, my desktop, or if you're using a laptop, whatever. So it's not, you know, keeping and uh, taking up space because video can take up a lot of room on your right. computer. So yes, good point. There's, there's different categories of things that we, um, our personal things and then of course as our, as our art you know, we have all of this stuff and believe me, it will start filling up your hard drive and it will be much easier to find and locate if you keep track of it and organize it in that way as well. Yeah. And that should probably be another podcast um, <laughs> about organization because it, it really oh, yeah, is important yeah. when you have mm -hmm. to find something, right. how do you find it? Exactly. You, yeah. So organization would be a good idea. But basically, tell us a little bit more about the solutions that you're finding for your situation mm -hmm. that, that any of us could, you know, be thrown into. Sure. And I know that a lot of us um, probably use Dropbox or even Google Drive, but they're not backing up your computer. They're not back, you know, you're, you're putting files and you can save to that. But, um, and I'll share this because the, the Apple tech actually shared this with me. He was a photographer, which I thought was really cool. And he was interested, he knew that I knew more than the average probably person that came in because we were talking about the computer and the hard drive and I was asking questions and stuff. And he said, well, tell me what you do. And I told him and he goes, oh, he goes, well, I'm a photographer too. And so we started talking, he goes, well, let me give you some tips. And he did, he was wonderful. But the one thing that he told me about was an online backup service called Back Blaze. And we'll link to that in the show notes. And it's really affordable. He said it's $5 a month. I've already signed up for it. And depending on the plan that you choose, you can have your backups go like as long as a year or even more, depending on which plan you choose. But the minimum is like $5. And it's unlimited, unlimited backup. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, seriously, unlimited? I mean, a lot of these services that you pay for online, the more data that you have stored, the more it costs you. And it can get pretty right. expensive. I mean, I pay $10 extra a month just for iCloud and mm -hmm. it's limited. I mean, I don't have the full, you know, it's, it, does, it stops at a certain point. So what I found really interesting with it is once you sign up and you can get a free trial, you download the, I guess it's like a, I don't know if it, it's not really called an extension, but you download to the computer and then it automatically syncs so that 
your, your computer is backing up constantly to Backblaze. And so what you can do is if you find, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble and I need to access this, you can go right on there and you can actually choose how you want to retrieve your information. You can download it. They'll even send it to you on a hard drive. So you have options wow. here. Yeah. So, I mean, what if you lost your computer altogether? You know what? It, I mean, the, the young man at the tech store at Apple, that's what happened to him. So I've already signed up for it and I'm going to use it. And in addition to my external backup, I'm not going to just use that. So I have an offsite in case something happens. What if somebody broke in my house and took my computer and my backup drive? Then I would have lost everything. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why having it offsite is so important right. because then no one can access that. I mean, or if there was a fire or, or a hurricane, you know, mm -hmm. what's the house? I mean, we right. most yeah. of us live in an area where there could be, a, you know, a hurricane, a tornado, an earthquake. And that's not something you can control. I mean, I've thought about that before thinking, hmm, the house, what if the, you know, what if the roof blows off and the rain starts pouring in? That's going to ruin your equipment. So having offsite is really important. So I did learn that just that much more that I really need to be uh, doing that. So that was a good thing that I learned from him yesterday. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. And yeah. so what we're saying is that you want to have multiple backups. Mm -hmm. You want, you want to think this through. What is it if, what would I be devastated either financially, personally, or just your heart? Yeah, if exactly. I, you know, and what plan do you have in place for those? Mm -hmm. And it can be the photos on your phone. You know, are you backing, are they going to the cloud? Do you have mm -hmm. Amazon photos? Where are your photos going other than just your phone? Right. Don't leave your you know, the <laughs> picture of your daughter holding her baby for the first time just on your phone. <laughs> you know, those things that just you can never replace. We need a backup plan for those. And we have to think about the worst that could happen and kind of work backwards. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. that's our message today is we're just encouraging people to take a look at what you have mm -hmm. and how you want to protect that. Yep. And so that you don't get up in the morning and go, I've never seen this screen before, but it does not look good. Do not enter. It, yeah, this can't be good. That's why I said, oh my gosh, this cannot be good. Nope. And it wasn't. It but was it, not. You know, I just, I, I, I've been here in various stages over time and over years. And as someone who is helping others with tech, I just have to say, these things will happen. You will yes. be in a moment of tearing your hair out going, I don't understand, or this ain't working, or what just happened. So we thought this would be, I know it's not art related, so to speak, and it's not as much as glamorous as some topics, but it's an important one. And it's yes. still to what's, you know, what, at least what's happened to me in the last couple of days. So, right. Uh, but it'll, it'll be okay. I, and like I said, I'll have to refilm a few things. There's some data I will not have, but it's all right. And, and actually this is the funny thing is when I was talking to the tech, uh, and I was just kind of, you know, thinking about the computer, I have transferred data from, I don't know how many computers that are, you know, are on the current computer I have. I don't even need any of that stuff anymore. It's so old. There's almost this sort of weight and excitement or weight lifted in this little bit of an excitement of going, oh, a clean, fresh hard drive. Oh, the potential. <laughs> I know you guys are crazy. It's like a, a brand new set of watercolors, right? Well, right. a brand new cleaned up hard drive is like, oh, I got all that room and I get to kind of do what I want with it. So anyway, that's just like a nerdy thing. I just, I was thinking that, but yeah. You're going to Marie Kondo your hard drive, aren't you? <laughs> I think I am. I think I'm really going to just, you know, get in there and go, all right, let's get organized here. So yes. You need to let that spark and joy or you're gone. <laughs> Is this sparking joy? No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. It's gone. Gone. That's okay. It's already gone anyway. So now it's just a matter of picking what's bringing me joy and bringing it back. back. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, so that's our topic guys for today. Back <laughs> it up. Back it up people. Back it up. Yep. All right. Take care everyone. All right. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Creatives Get Real. We love hearing from you. So hop on over to Instagram and leave us a comment. And we also appreciate reviews on iTunes. And you can find me, Sandy Keen, at sandykeen.com and my classes at popupartclasses.com. And you can find me, 
Robin Marie Smith at robinmarie.com. And if you're looking for and need tech support, check out my membership site, makerstechu.com.